there welcome um disclaimers my thoughts and opinions also i swear so i watched a video today um from rotten politics and it's a really good speech by Anne Widdicombe. Um, basically, uh, from the, for, I, I knew she's with the Reform Party. I did not know. You know, don't follow politics. Have a mild interest. Don't follow it because half of it's bollocks. Because whoever gets in, they work for the banks. What's the point? Do you know what I mean? Um, anyways, like, she uh, is a brilliant speech. Um, go to Rotten Politics, watch it. It's called The Speech Social Media One Gone, and it was published today, uh, the 1st of July, 2024. Um, and then she says, about 10 minutes into this video, into their video, not into her speech, obviously, um, she says, we'll get rid of woke. All right, me is pricked up. Well, my ears were pricked up anyway. She was speaking a lot of sense. She was talking about common sense, and that doesn't exist in today's society. Well, not up there anyway. It's not meant to. Anyways, uh, and it's got me thinking about this whole woke thing. Now, her thing about woke is that now, um, at the, well, she said that, uh, you know, older wars that the young men went and, and uh, fought for our freedom. Utter bollocks, obviously. It was all to do with money. It's always to do with money and power. That's what war is about. It's not for freedom. It, we're not doing that for us. We're doing it for them. Always have done, always will do. The people who don't get their hands dirty send our children off to be killed, right? So disagreed with that bit a bit. Then she went on to say that basically, on oh, a minute, then she went on to say um, that uh, that looks even more, that looks awful, doesn't it? So I put that back on. Light my face off a bit. Oh, I'm purple now. Check me. Oh dear, you don't get this lot of this level of professional ears and with the Tories, do you? So basically, oh well, I ain't with reform either. I'm not affiliated to any particular party. If I was going to go just off the back of this speech, if I was a voter, I'd vote for reform just off the back of her speech there. Don't know note about them. I ain't a voter. I don't even have. I ain't getting tagged and bagged. Do you know what I mean? It's just another form of ID. And no, I ain't jumping through your hoops in order to tick a box that will change nothing because whoever gets in works for the fucking monks. Um, but this whole woke fandango, right? It, I am. You correct me if I'm wrong. Of where this term came from because it's a recent thing you know woke is is a fashion right it has been for years now when I first started doing what I do it was about 17 years ago and we were the whole thing is like you wake up to what's going on you realize that your world's a lie you realize it's bread and circuses you realize that the people that run the world are little more than actors just playing out roles on a, on the world stage and we go like oh yeah oh they think better than they do literally both on the strings of the same fucking devil up there both the wings of the same bird literally they work for the banks right whoever they are whoever gets it um but yeah it used to be back in the day you know waking up and there is it's and i think um that woke has come from when you wake up and you realize that the world's a fucking lie and that we are being stuffed over for the benefit of a few people you wake up to that and then there was a period of uh, get woke. You know what I mean? Wake up, get woke, right? Now, woke means lefty loonies. Woke means flat earth and having bollocks that dangle out underneath your miniskirt. Do you know what I mean? It, it means getting offended by everything. That isn't being awake. Woke is not being awake. It is, and I'm sorry to the flat earthers there. I don't say, I'm not saying that you're wrong. 
I don't know and I don't fucking care what shape the planet that I stand on is. I care about the shape it's in. That's that's my... I ain't never going to change the shape of the earth I stand on ever in my life. And people will go like, oh, yeah, but, but it's really important to know this because if they can lie about that, they can lie about other things. Point. We know that they're lying about other things. We're living through those other things they lie about. Do you know what I mean? That's what we need to focus on. We need to wake up and realise that that woke is getting us nowhere. Do you know what I mean? They're divisory tactics and it came from up there. Woke came from up there. With this whole transgender agenda, the flat earth society, all came from up there. In my personal opinion, this is an opinion post. Do you know what I mean? And I'm sure because... You know if it's come from there, if it makes you fucking angry and you have to defend it in a nasty way. And literally, I've seen uh, people who are are anti-flat earth, I won't say globe earthers, you know, like, but people who are really pissed off with flat earth people and some of the things that they come out with are daft. Let's face it, some of the things that they come out with, with with daft, like if you jump up, and then land, why don't you land in a different place? That's just daft. I've watched a video of a bloke on a trampoline on the back of a move, a truck going at 60 mile an hour, mate, and he lands on the same fucking trampoline. It ain't <laughs> like, anyways, I don't know how it works. Don't even ask me how it works. But I watched it with my own eyes. Do you know what I mean? And I don't, but I don't care. So I don't want to get in an argument. Please don't. You don't know shit about flat earth. I don't know shit about flat earth. There's fours, there's against. It's not in my remit to give a shit about that. Do you know what I mean? It's the little bits that make up the one collective thing that we all need to wake up to. And that is that we're run by bad people that literally force millions, billions of people to suffer for their own personal gain just so that a few can have everything. Millions have to go without without anything. I'm just going to bring in the old uh, advertising thing. Let's chuck everything in there, eh? Um, the advertising thing, now Netflix has gone on. It's like I've paid for Netflix for years and now they're putting adverts out there. So I have to pay extra because I ain't watching the adverts watched uh, the, the last couple of uh, things of The Gentleman, episodes of The Gentleman last night. Brilliant, brilliant series. Defo watch it. And the, and the last one, it kicks in because it's 1st of July. 22nd unskippable ad halfway through the programme. A, a drama. What, comedy drama? Do you know what I mean? It lost the mood. Like, literally, what are they doing to us? And we do fucking nothing. Do you know what I mean? And and they have advertised, have brought out this whole woke thing, all these little things that don't matter for us to argue about just so that we can think. So people who are waking up are like, yeah, I think differently. That makes me on the right team. Not realising they're doing exactly what they've told them to. Do you know what I mean? So I'm with Anne Ann Widdicom, not for the same reasons, but we need to end woke. Do you know what I mean? I have, I used to have a friend on my old Facebook account um, uh, that's still active, but I just don't go on there because it feels dirty because it was stolen for about eight months. Um, and uh, yeah, so I used to have a friend on there, big on this actor-based reality. Now, I've said this in an old video, but you won't remember because nobody watches the video. So <laughs> if you're here, mm, I love you. Um, but I said, like, I have said this on previous videos. This guy believes actor-based reality. Now, the actor-based reality is the thing. And what it actually is, is the fact that like people best... Best case in point on the planet, Volodymyr Zelensky... The poison dwarf, right? Old Colombian Ken, right? Literally is an actor and comedian. 
and literally is responsible for the biggest money grab I've ever witnessed with my own eyes. <laughs> literally billions. Yeah, take it. He's there. We need your money. We need your money. It's like, I've seen the videos of you, like, you know, pretending to play the piano with your wanger, dressing up like Beyonce and doing fucking single ladies. Like, and literally, people are believing him because he wears the same fucking shirt every day of his life because he's in, he's actually in a costume and people ain't getting that he's an actor. Now, this dude, this woke chap, that I used to be friends with believes that actor-based reality means that James McAvoy, amongst other things, James McAvoy and Tom Holland are the same person. And he used to come out, he used to just, and put it like it was fact, to pictures of two blokes and literally you'd go ears off, nose off, eyebrows off, eye colour off, hairline off. And he just fucking literally bit two completely the age. James McAvoy and Tom Holland are not the same age. How did this man even process this? How did it even make sense in his own head? Let alone putting it out on Facebook. But he wound everybody up with his nonsense. And it was utter fucking nonsense. But he said it like it was like, yeah, I'm telling you the truth. You heard it here first and all this part. And it's like, mate, you're doing us no favours. Do you know what I mean? We're, we're not doing anybody any favours. We need to be coming together and we're dividing ourselves. We're allowing them to divide us on the most ridiculous things. I have a, a, a fellow in it, oh, patience of a saint is needed with this one because it will just attack on Facebook. And he knows a lot of stuff and he's a really clever dude and I consider him, a, you know, a nice guy, trusted friend. But he's vile at people in posts. And so, like, and he's like, and he, get, he gets, re he's really mad at the minute. Apparently there's something about, like, social credit scoring. So if you angry react to any of his things, or cry, or sad react to any any of his posts, um, and and literally, if anybody does it, he blocks them. There's no proof that this is actually a thing that's happening now among us. He's the only man on this planet that I've ever heard that from. I've heard people say, "Please don't." Uh, well, no, no. Again, these are the angry people. They're like, "Don't do this. You're wrong." That's getting us nowhere. This attitude of being offended and going on the attack is literally what is wrong with us right now. We are all on the same team, whether we know it or not. We are all on the same team and we all have one enemy, only ever have. And we're allowing these divisions that are coming from them they are laughing at us, people. They are laughing at us for falling for this bait. But because they own the TV companies and they choose what comes out, they choose what goes into our head and it fills it up so that nobody cares. Nobody cares what's actually going on because there's always more bread in the circus. Anyways, I think I've made enough of a point for now. I've rambled on for nearly 15 minutes and I do apologise if you've made it till the end. Oh, you a bevy, please call me out on it. Let's go out for a fucking drink, mate. Let's sit down and put the world to fucking right, shall we? Um, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Like, literally, you deserve a medal, but I will fashion your badge if you want one. Um, and if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Please come back soon. Thank you again for being with me. And never forget that I love you all. Bye. Sabrano is a